in the time where you were coming up, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, man, there were a lot of like, not only hey, great- hey, hey, 60s, 70s, 80s, bro, come on. You're 70s, making me... 80s, man, 70s, <laughs> you were born in the- Come, uh, hey, come man, on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> in the time that you were coming up, I would say that aside from there being like a wealth of percussionists and great place musicians, you also have a lot of characters, man, a lot of cats with something unique. Listen, I joke about it, but you know, I'm a 60s baby, right? <laughs> and I grew up in, I came up in a time in music, especially in New York City, where it was evolving, man. you know, from like the Palladium days yep. of the 40s, 50s, mm -hmm. in, and 60s. You know, in the 70s, man, there was so much more exploratory music coming, coming through. And so, I, and I was exposed to all of that. So, you know, I'm really fortunate. You know, I feel bad for you guys that are in, you know, coming up after us, right? That you don't have the same exposure that right. we had, you know, yeah. because it was, you know, like, you know, Bobby and I, Bobby Allende and I always talk about how in the 70s and even like the 80s, you know, we, we could do 10 to 14 gigs a week, right? Because yeah. there were so many places to play and so many bands yeah. and opportunities everywhere to play. You know what I mean? That doesn't exist anymore, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, not on that scale, um, man. And so, you know, I, I, I feel really blessed that I was born in the 60s, yeah. Yeah, even man. though, you know, <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs>